Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to paint this small bird. I'll first show what colors I have used and then we will see the painting process. So I have used uh, the Magello Mission gold colors. I've taken Bendaiki brown. You can take any other brown you have, any dark brown. Then I have taken the yellow orange. This is for the um, highlighted parts and then I have taken any orange you have, you can take that. Also I have taken some olive green for the branch and for the background. And for the darkest parts of eye and the beak, I will use indigo. If you want, you can mix any of your dark grays or also you can take out of the tube grays uh, like Payne's gray. <coughs> So I have wet uh, the body part here. I have not wet the eyes part. I have wet it thoroughly uh, with water. And then I have uh, just given a very light wash of the dark brown uh, color. Just make sure you are leaving a little bit of a line or white space in between. Uh, as you can see in the reference photo. So that we can... Um, show some value variation and depth on the body also I'm giving the same very light wash in the face part of the bird next I have taken a very light wash of indigo and then I'm just giving it uh, towards the claws of the bird and towards the bottom of its body And with the same light uh, mix of indigo, I'm putting some highlights uh, for the tail part. I have just uh, uh, put a little water on the uh, on the plume, and uh, then we'll just uh, put a light wash of yellow orange first, just on the half portion. And with a damp brush, I'm just removing the top portion to just give it a hint of color. And then we'll take a bit of darker orange and just put it uh, towards the bottom of the plume. I'm doing the same here near the beak. I'm just giving it an orange highlight. Just keep referring the uh, reference photo and uh, uh, you can keep uh, putting some layers on the colors on top. Like here I am putting a layer of thin indigo just to create a three dimensional effect. It is the same Vendaiki brown and it is a thin mix only. I have not put a very thick mix here at this point. And with a damp brush, I'm just merging the edges of the color so that it does not stand out as crisp edges. I put a very light wash of a brown again. And uh, in the claws, I have put a light wash of indigo. Once it is dried, we can put more definition to the claws. Here with a very thin brush, I'm just trying to pull or draw some of the feathers uh, of the body with a very thin brush I'm just pulling uh, some of the lines which shows just to represent that there are some feathers so if you have seen birds uh, they have very fluffy feathers uh, in their body part which are not their flight wings so they have very thin and fluffy kind of feathers. so that's the effect we are trying to give here there are multiple ways to do that. You can also drop some water on wet paint. That also will create the same effect. But here I have taken, uh, I'm doing uh, wet on dry. So once the base layer has dried, I'm just putting some definition of the uh, feathers.
and then I'm blending it with some damp brush. I'm doing the same with the indigo here. Just putting some line and then damping the bottom part of it. If you want to make it a more defined uh, painting, you can also uh, put more uh, this kind of feather definitions. But I have just put a few. The end of the tail which is visible, I am just putting the light, ye uh, light yellow orange mix. With a deep uh, mix of indigo, I am just drawing some of the definitions of the feather. I will also define and highlight the claws. You don't need to define it too much, just a hint and impression will be enough. If you see the reference photo, just one of the feet is visible, one of the leg. So I have just defined that leg and the other wing also we will do with the same indigo mix. A more thicker mix we will use for the beak and eye part. Just be careful, uh, if you are not confident, use a very thin brush. I have used here a number 2 brush, but if you are not confident, you can use number 0. The rest of the painting I have done with number 6 brush. And all my brushes are round brush for this painting. Yeah, this is a very deep... Uh, indigo mix just paint it on dry paper and then take some damp brush and and then just merge the paint onto dry paper it seems I have a bloom near the eye because I did not wait it long enough if you are not confident you can also use a black liner for doing this for for painting the eye I'm just highlighting some of the indigo layer because we have not used so many colors here so I just making sure that we are giving sufficient highlights here uh, with the indigo I have used just a bit of orange just to highlight the tail a little more else the painting will become very colorless now we have started the branch you can take any green mix uh, nothing in particular and then just uh, do you can also do it um, wet on dry or wet on wet and then just uh, put a mix of brown and then maybe sap green and then olive green just put a thin wash uh, do not take very thick color for the branch because we don't want to highlight the branch You can put some of the highlights uh, on the branch. <clears throat> For the background, I am just putting uh, some water with my number 6 or I think 7 flat brush. And then I am just, I have just taken some olive green and then highlighting some of it with some sap green mix. Here I have dropped some water to create that white uh, feathers and then same I am doing for the rest of the background just make sure wherever the bird is in light color that background you are putting a bit darker so that the light or the light values of bird are highlighted and wherever I have indigo uh, on the bird I have not put the background that deep I'm just putting some more highlights and I think we are towards the end. I've just put some highlights with the Vendaiki brown. So if you guys paint this and post it uh, somewhere, please uh, post the link in comments. Also, if you do like this video, please subscribe and like. Thank you. We will be back soon with another tutorial.